What's shaking guys, Magic Activator here, and welcome back to episode number 11 of our Pokemon Coliseum Let's Play. We managed to rescue Silva, so let's go ahead and speak with him and see what's going on. Ugh. Oh. Thank you, you saved me. Do you people know Duking? Yes. Okay. I'm a fool. I didn't know what was happening at all. They'd taken Duking's Pokemon hostage? How could they do something so downright dirty? That's why we're here. We came to rescue Plusle. I'm going to... Uh, uh. Not in your condition. You'll have to wait here. <laughs> we meet again, Kettys. Mirror B, you cowardly cheat. Cowardly cheat, that's so not true. Taking a hostage is perfectly fine as a bargaining tactic, yo. You call your you call that a tactic? Plus, it better be okay. Oh, that darling couldn't be any safer if it tried. I'm sure it'll come to adore me before too much longer. You've got to, you've got to be kidding. Where is it? Give it back. <laughs> no running or hiding for me. Come to the cave. That's where I'll be. I'll be waiting for you, my pretties. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, boy. Mirror B, my dude. Okay, so we're going to have to go ahead and scoop up this Ian file. Ian file S. It's written on the file's cover. Read it. Shadow Pokemon. A shadow Pokemon is a Pokemon that has been made into a fighting machine by artificially shutting the door to its heart. What we didn't know is that the shadow Pokemon exude a dark aura that can't normally be seen by the human eye. Unfortunately, a girl with the ability to see the dark aura has been discovered. This is a major problem. The girl could become a huge obstacle for our shadow Pokemon plan. A solution to the threat is urgently needed. Shadow Pokemon Lab Chief Ian. Ooh. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and head down here. And I'm not gonna lie, this is like, I think this is like the sixth or seventh episode for this recording session. And I totally did not intend to record, actually record another episode, but I was kind of locked into a story and I didn't have a way to save. So I decided I'd better just go ahead and record one more. So, oh my goodness, we got some hyper potions though. That could come in handy later. We got to heal, dude. We totally got to heal. So I guess now that I guess now we go into the cave. Oh right, that's what I just remembered what the elevator was for. It's not what I was initially thinking it was for. It's for something completely different. So we'll find out about that later. But okay, so now we we can go ahead and I guess head back up. Wait, it oh that's such a jerk move. Why would you make it? Once I went through there once, you should have just left it open. So now I gotta run all the way back upstairs. That's that's actually annoying. That's actually obnoxious. That was such a tease. So Mira B. It's time to gun for the true master. Yo, I'm actually really excited because that means we get to battle him soon. I love Mira B. He's so great. Honestly, one of the most like outrageous and hilarious characters in the game. Also, I'm really glad that some of you guys uh, really seem to have enjoyed the Mirror Beef voice. I actually thought it was gonna be really terrible for you guys. Hmm, oh, I get it. You guys weren't new recruits, but just intruders too. The guy earlier was too weak for words. How about you? Are you gonna keep me amused? Are you sitting here rhyming, trying to be like Mirror Beef? Even though Mirror Beef doesn't really rhyme all the time. But apparently I do. And that's pretty cool. This is gonna be a Shadow Quillfish, isn't it? Isn't it? Yo, to be honest, why am I still rocking out? I got mons that are fully, got fully cleared heart gauges now. Why am I still, why am I still rocking out with you guys in the party, actually? I'll try and remember to take them out when I go back and heal next time. Okay, so let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and try and put you to sleep. Luckily, sleep powder is a little bit more accurate than uh, hypnosis is, so maybe we can actually land. Maybe. I won't get my hopes up too much. Dude, Skip Lewis just gets destroyed anytime it gets attacked. 
It's actually kind of annoying. Because I really want to use Skip Bloom or, or Jump Bluff on the team, but... They're just not holding up too well, honestly. Those lips are still going! Wait a second, your lips to the team? You got Goldene and Quillfish happening right now. It's actually a little bit disturbing how human-like Goldine's lips are. Like, she's straight up wearing some lipstick. Actually... I'm gonna do one turn of Shadow Rush into the Quillfish slot. Into the Quillfish slot. Get rid of that Goldine. And hopefully this thing doesn't just wake up immediately. Oh, Lanoon! A little Furret wannabe. Actually, Furret... Actually, Lanoon's a pretty much better than Furret. In multiple ways. Oh, the poison point! Wow, 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 wow! Well, I did not anticipate that. At all. I'm actually almost out of Pokeballs as well. This is not going well. Actually, you know what? There is technically speaking. I, I feel like I'm not I'm not gonna do this throughout the entire LP. I'll probably do it at least once though. Just for old time's sake. But there's actually a glitch in the game. Where you can basically use any type of Pokeball an unlimited amount of times without actually using the Pokeball. So that may end up happening. You know what? Actually, I'm going to use a Great Ball. I'm actually going to use the Great Ball. Let's do it. Let's just do it. I hope I did that right. I had a brief moment where my brain just blanked out. I don't know if I... I think I attacked first. Good, Quillfish is going to be annoying. I don't know why the Pokemon are so... Sometimes so difficult to catch in this game. Like, it's actually ridiculous how long you can spend trying to catch Pokemon. Like, I mean, I know that that's a thing in regular Pokemon games as well, but still. It's kind of nuts. Dude, if a Swift does not take you out this time, I don't know what to say. I actually do not know what to say. I mean, to me, it's just worth throwing Pokeballs anyway, even if I haven't lowered its health completely, just because... Just like that, I thought we were gonna have it. But I mean, it's all it's all a numbers game, and if you roll the right, if you get the right RNG, it's you're gonna be able to. Of course. I don't know why I relied on that. I guess I just thought maybe because of our crazy luck in. But you know what? That was a ram raid. It was only level 20, so. Thank you, at least the poison didn't kill me. Yeah, so now I have to send a Noctowl, and I have to try and put you back to sleep. I'm really, I'm actually quite angry with myself for not just taking out the Lanoon. I was just like, surely, surely at this point. But it only, I always just set myself up for disappointment. I always just set myself up for dear disappointment. And it makes me want to cry. Okay, Shadow Rush. Could I land the Hypnosis? Probably not. Give this owl a wide lens, dude. 
I got to do something. You're not, you're just not staying in the Pokeball at this point. See, that's how much I needed you to do without the spread damage. Oh no! How is it we land a Hypnosis after you minimized? Of all the times. Of all the times. That makes no sense. That actually makes zero sense. Alright, Snag Machine. Let's do it. And this is what I'm talking about. Pokemon just taking way too long to get in the Pokeball. You're a Quillfish, dude. You are a... You are actually a Quillfish. <laughs> like, no offense, but... I don't know anyone who says Quillfish is greatest mod of all time. Does anybody even use Quillfish? I mean, I'm sure Quillfish has some kind of use. In some tier, I don't even know what cool, what tier Quillfish is in, competitively, which is kind of nuts. I'm sure somebody knows. We finally got it, though. Thank you. Thank you. That was absurd. That was actually absurd. We're actually about to reach a port. I think in this portion of the game, though, there's actually quite a few Shadow Pokemon. Battling you is so fun. That's good enough for me. If you want to go through, go right ahead. Doing a great job, man. This is doing a great job of protecting your hideout and whatnot. Mm. What? Oh, I must have hit Y. I didn't know why I opened the menu. Got some ethers. Those are okay, I guess. You're an unnecessary battle, so I don't feel like you'll actually have a shadow Pokemon. Yay, you're finally here! The floor, this floor is my territory. I can't let you through. You're literally not even standing in front of the staircase, though. Anorith and Lotad. Sweet! Espeon and Umbreon. I feel like I need to double target that Anorith right now before uh, it uses something on my two Pokemon that are weak to bug type. Yeah, so normally the, the, what's the word, the convention of this game is if it isn't a forced battle, it's usually not a shadow, they usually don't have a shadow Pokemon. Sometimes forced battles do, or don't have shadow Pokemon, but usually if it's not a forced battle, they don't have shadow Pokemon, at least in areas like this where you're progressing through. So like, I could have completely avoided her, but why do that? Because she's adorable with her top hat and her street performer apparel, apparel, apparel. That's what I'm trying to say. English is a language. I just don't speak it. All right, so let's double in on this low tad. Actually, Espeon almost put down to business without the help of Umbreon. Hello? Look at Lotad. Ooh, ooh. That's, that's nice. I'm gonna give her a Snatch, because Snatch is pretty situational, and it's not very often that I get to take advantage of Snatch, so I'm gonna use uh, Confuse Ray. Though is dope. I love Confuse Ray. 100% chance to confuse. I think yes. Oopsie, I lost. Symes. You're surprised, but I'm not telling you where Mirror B's waiting. Thought what we had was special. I sound like Steve right now. I'm over here talking about these adorable uh, street performer girls. But anyway. So I can avoid you, so you're probably, you probably don't have a shadow Pokemon either. 
So I'll go ahead and battle you. And that'll probably be a good place to wrap this episode up. Because the last episode did go longer than anticipated. I don't know, I might even squeeze in one more if I don't think there's a Shadow Pokemon involved. Because honestly, if it, there's a Shadow Pokemon involved, it's just going to consume our time. It really will. Like, if I hadn't been trying to catch that Quillfish, we could have been done with that battle way earlier than we actually were. Get out of here, coughing. Coughing. <laughs> Coughing's great. Shroomish. Look at him. Look at the little grumpy face. He's so grumpy. Ross, remember when you were a fairy type? You're not a fairy type yet. So, remember when you were the fairy type is not really the best. Uh, the best way to say that. Uh, secret power and confusion should be enough to deal with this shroomish. Wait, are you pure grass? Because that was not super effective. Was it? For some reason, I want to say you're a grass poison, but I guess not. I know when you evolve, you're grass fighting. So I guess it would make sense for you to just be grass. <laughs> Raising your Pokemon to these levels must have been a hard struggle. You might be our enemy, but you have my respect. I like how I'm just like, all these guys are just like, you know what? You're a pretty good dude. <laughs> You're a pretty cool guy. I'm gonna come over here, but I want to be careful because I don't want to accidentally trigger a battle. Okay, I'm not sure which direction is the proper direction to go. I'm gonna scout up here really quick. Tread lightly. Oh, snap. I don't know which way is the right way to go. So you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right around here. Actually, I feel like downstairs. Both of these looks like potential force battles, but I don't know which way is a dead end. So we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right here. In the next episode, we will uh, continue our way through this cave. And you know what? Before I actually wrap things up, let's take a quick look at our party and see. Okay, so Skivaloon's still got a way to go. Noctowl is actually... Noctowl and Kulava both actually have their heart gauge all the way lowered. So this will give me a good reason to go back uh, and save the game, heal up our team, and actually deposit those guys in the PC. So uh, like I said, we'll wrap things up right here. In the next episode, we will pick up and continue through the cave. So thank you so much for your support, and thanks for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it as always. If you did, be sure to hit that like button down below. But I'm going to make like an abra and get out of here. So have yourselves a wonderful day. Stay cool, and we will catch you guys later.